Hello everyone and welcome to Friday Football Fever. It's a jam-packed week for us including a huge matchup with a nationally ranked Manatee team taking on a Bradenton rival. Plus, can Venice keep the momentum rolling at Booker? And how about our game of the week? Can Lakewood Ranch win with a third string quarterback? Those answers and plenty more coming up. Strap in, Friday Football Fever's on the way. everyone Lakewood Ranch has been absolutely decimated by injuries at key positions early on this season in fact the Mustangs are relying on their third string quarterback let's check out East Lee County taking on Lakewood Ranch first drive Zach Larson rolls left throws with his right which is a hard thing to do check out the completion there to Will Pilkington for a first down Mustangs then would go to the ground which Turns out to be a smart move. Larson hands off to Harris and Skokos, and he's off to the races. 32 yards, Scamper made it 7-0. Mustangs with the early lead, but East Lee County can run the rock a little bit too. Check out the little option pitch here to Terrell Davis. Great running back name. 25-yard pickup up the left side for a first down Jaguar. Second quarter now, same drive, Marcus Simmons. Rolling, fires across his body to the end zone. Bryce Crawford comes down with it. Touchdown ties it up at seven. Still in the second. Mustangs working from the Wildcat formation. Taryn Laws fakes the handoff and then takes off. Slicing and dicing, breaking tackles. Look at that, he won't go down. It's a first down. Next play back to the well, but this time the give to Harrison Skokos, which works out, runs outside. Then the cut back to the house. Touchdown made it 14-7, Lakewood Ranch leading. Ensuing East Lee possession. Jaguars are going to look to pass. Simmons heaves to Jaden Smith for the equalizing touchdown. However, Lakewood Ranch goes on to win a gritty 34-20 victory. How about that? SNN Local News 6 sports reporter Calvin McClure got to check out this one in person and got to see a gritty win from Lakewood Ranch. Calvin, talk about the game. Phenomenal win for a injury-depleted team, huh? Oh, yeah, Adam. We're live out here. Game of the week, Lakewood Ranch versus East Lee County. Boy, do we know how to pick them. A lot of action going on tonight, Adam. Listen, Lakewood Ranch came in here battered and bruised down to the third string quarterback and was still able to get the job done. I caught up with the head coach of East Lee County after the game, and here's what he said went wrong. We did not execute very well. Not on offense, not on defense, undisciplined. We had them third and fourth down, and uh, senior defensive end jumps twice, you know, that kind of stuff. And that's, that's how you get beat, especially in close games and stuff. That was the head coach of East Lee County. I'm joined now with Sean Trent, head coach of the Mustangs. Coach, you guys are battered and bruised, man. You came in here, got, it, got the job done. You're third string quarterback. How'd you guys do that? Uh, you know, the kids played hard. No, I think it was a team victory. I mean, we had to move a lot of kids around and do some things, uh, both offensively and defensively, to move Larson to quarterback. So, uh, you know, I thought all the kids played really well. Now, I saw you guys run some Wildcat formations in there. You know, tell, me, tell me about that. Well, I mean, we've had that in all along. I mean, we kind of forced into doing it last week at Southeast when uh, Kovaleski got hurt. But we've had it in. And, and because of Larson being, you know, only having four days of practice at quarterback, we had to limit the playbook for Larson a little bit. So that was a way to get a little bit more of the playbook in without having to put more on Larson. So, Coach, you guys got a good win. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. That's it for Game of the Week. We're live out here at Lakewood Ranch. Madam. All right, thanks, Calvin. Good job out there. Phenomenal game. Let's move on. Keep it moving to Venice. Got a big win last week at home, but hit the road tonight to take on Booker. First possession of the game goes to the Indians in this one, and they're going to air it out. That's how this game would be. Grant Flessner fires across the middle to Cody Salas for the first down there. Next play, it is Flessner calling his own number up through a pile and a tackler, and he's hitting pay dirt. Opening touchdown strike made it 7-zip Venice. Ensuing Booker possession. This may be a coverage sack. Booker quarterback Jermaine Leverett has nowhere to go. Terrell Solomon just crushes him. So Venice gets the ball back. It's a handoff to Big Danny Dillard. Look at Dillard. Keep the feet moving. A little high stepping maybe. He's brought down after a nice gain. 
first down. Fans of Booker are not so happy about this one. Next play, they give Dillard another shot at the end zone, and he's taking it. Touchdown there, Indians were cruising with a 16-zip lead through the first quarter, and Venice ends up winning this game easily, 53-6. All right, Naples First Baptist Academy made the trip up to take on ODA. First quarter we begin, Brian Ragone from ODA is an athletic young quarterback and he's going for a run here. First down, Thunder up the left side. He's dragging a couple guys to take him down there, but Ragone can also do it with his arm. He rolls right here. He's gonna fling with his left arm. That's not easy to do. Nice catch there. Kevin Ramsey, another first down. ODA offense is rolling on this drive until this, that is. Ragone going right again, tosses. He keeps his eyes locked in one spot. Alex Diaz takes advantage. That's an interception lion ball. However, Thunder would get the ball back after some nasty defense. Look at the hit there. Diaz carrying. Mark Marcello says, no, sir. That set up the opening touchdown of the night. Ragone is patient, patient, and slings to Ryan Kaminsky. Touchdown made it six zip, extra point. No good, but it didn't really matter. ODA just rolling along in this one, winning 33-6. to All right, we are far from finished here on Friday Football Fever. We've still got the number two team in the nation yet to come. Would Manatee get a test from a big Bradenton rival? The answer and those highlights coming up when Friday Football Fever continues. You're watching Friday Football Fever!